morning and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have just realised that Arthi is in shot. Look! So cute! Oh no wait, there he is. Okay, good morning. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here then hi, welcome. My name is Hannah and I upload one video every single week relating to simple living, homemaking, traditional housewife living and I do monthly resets once a month. I do these resets not just for here to share with people what my goals are and how my month has been etc but also for me for accountability to be able to then look back and see what I've done well and what I can improve on and all that sort of stuff. So it's kind of a mixture of both um, and I really enjoy filming them and I like looking back on them and seeing how I've done from month to month. So yeah, I can't believe we're almost in March. It's actually the 25th of February today but this is the only day I'm going to be able to film this video because tomorrow, Sunday the 26th, I'm actually going back to where I used to live for the day to visit my friends. So that would be lovely. I'm going to take you along too, but you'll, you'll be seeing that vlog after you've seen this video. So yes, by the time you've seen this, it will officially be March of 2023. I said in my previous video, just sort my collar out, I said in my previous video that I was getting a new bullet journal. This was my previous bullet journal. It is the um, Otagami bullet journal vegan leather and it's served me very, very well. I haven't been able to finish it completely because I wouldn't have got another month in here. But it has gone from, I think we said last time, from August? No. It's, oh my gosh, oh no, it has August, August through to February, which has been incredible. That is so, so good. I have started a little gardening spread here as well, so that's sweet too. But when I got paid in February, so I get paid every four weeks, so I got paid in February from my job and I said in my previous video that I was going to purchase a new bullet journal and £20 was my limit but when I sat and thought about it £20 is a lot of money for a bullet journal and I know I make it last like from August last year to February this year that's a lot that's a long time to ha keep it going but I still just thought £20 was quite extravagant so I had a look on Amazon and on Amazon there wasn't really anything there was lots of things that caught my eye but when I got to the checkout because we don't have Prime it was really expensive for delivery so then I found this bullet journal from an own branded place it's called Yop and Tom um, and they had an offer on this bullet journal and I thought it's a sign because it's beautiful it goes with my desk it goes with my little money folder here it's so aesthetically pleasing it literally goes with this room so much so this is my new bullet journal and I love it and I've already started to design the front page and things like that but I haven't written in my February reflections part here yet because I will be doing that a bit closer to the beginning of March but I have got my March goals in here just here so we will go through those and my budget but the first thing we're going to do is go back into this journal here and go to February's goals and reflect on February verbally so get all of yourselves a drink I have got a caramel cold coffee because it's not ice because there's no ice in it but it's still delicious mm. I've given up chocolate for Lent uh, this year so I'm finding alternatives it is going well albeit it has only been like four days so it hasn't been very long yet but um it's fine I'm getting on really really well with it but yes grab yourselves a drink and we will get started with this video I just wanted to say that I am using natural daylight and it's kind of an overcast slash sunny day today so the sun could go in and out so I do apologize for the lighting 
but we're going to jump on into February reflections and the goals I set myself for February. So I will run through these quickly, but if you want to see my February goals in more detail, I'll link the previous video below for you. So my first goal was to have no phone evenings and mornings. My second goal was to look at meals to reduce snacking, especially chocolate. To have a low buy February and continue to save and have no impulse spending. To do yoga every single day, even if it's only five minutes. To get serious about my weight loss. To make more time for family and friends. And continue with my hobbies and have time for me. Oh. Apologies about that. I thought Arthur was breathing really rapidly, but I think someone's outside cleaning their car or cleaning something because I've got the window open, so I think that's what I can hear, but he's okay. I was just a bit worried about him. But anyway, they were February goals. Now, February has definitely been a good month. Can I say that I've ticked every single goal off here? No, I haven't. However, I have... I can tick off quite a few. So having the no phone uh, evenings and mornings towards the latter part of February, so the last week or so, I've really um, been strict with that and I've really made myself to put my phone away at 6 p.m. or 7 p.m. at the latest and then in the mornings not get my phone. It has helped not having Instagram <clears throat> or social media because there's no, apart from WhatsApp, there's no real other reason for me to look at my phone and my family and friends know that I go to bed really early and I also get up really early. So I don't really hear from people from about, if I hear from them about 6 p.m. then they know that I don't have my phone on me and then they don't normally reach out to me until about eight o'clock in the morning, half seven, eight o'clock, because they know I have my phone on me then. But they all know that I don't, I try to have reduced phone times in the mornings and evenings. So for the latter part of February, that's actually been pretty, pretty good. So I've really stuck to that. And I'm noticing such a difference in my sleep, a difference in how I'm feeling in general. And I'm not wasting any more time and I'm not missing my phone. So it's really, really good. And I've really been enjoying that. The next one was to look at meals and reduce snacking, especially chocolate. Well, on the 22nd of February, Lent began. So I stopped having chocolate then. Up until then, my weight loss and meal tracking and I started to get into looking at my meals in a sense of health wise like having meals that are going to keep me fuller for longer and satiate me and have good high high protein high protein carbohydrates fruit and veg so i did really really look at that but um reducing the snacking it just didn't happen like we have chocolate biscuits at work and especially the chocolate digestives and i'm a sucker for those so i again towards the latter part of February so from Lent um, until present so for the last four days I've been really consistent and really good and I'm really enjoying it and I'm starting to lose the weight that I wanted to lose so I'm really enjoying that and I am eating meals that are satiating me and keeping me fuller for longer which again is what we wanted. The next one was to have a low buy February and continue to save and no impulse buying. I did and didn't do this. I did this in a sense with my cleaning money that I do because I clean my father-in-law's house once a week. I have saved that money for when I go to visit my hometown tomorrow. So I'm taking that with me. So that is great. I haven't spent any of that. When it comes to impulse buying, I have done impulse buying this month. Not drastically. Um, I like I bought a new mug. Well, my grandmother bought me a new mug, but I bought some spring decorations and I've bought just little bits and bobs. I have got my receipts here. I needed some more acetone, so I bought that and just things that I could have probably done without. I didn't actually need them. And looking over my receipts, I'm slightly disappointed in myself this month as opposed to in January when I where I didn't do any impulse buying I only bought things that I needed I only bought things that uh, I had run out of um, and I did do that for the most part of February but I treated myself to a few costas and I just did things that I didn't 
necessarily need to do. But we're going to move on to that into when we go into March goals. So the fourth one was to continue to do yoga every day. And yes, I have been doing yoga every single day, even if it's for five minutes in the morning and five minutes in the evening, I make sure to stretch my body. I either walk to work, which is a 45 minute walk, or I cycle there and back, which is t uh, 20 minutes there and back. So I do a lot of exercise in that respect. So I think it's really important to stretch. And also if I've been sitting for a while, it's really important to stretch and it makes my back feel incredible. So yeah, I have been doing that so I can tick that off my list. Getting serious about my weight loss. Again, we've just, we've gone over this and um, I am focusing on my weight loss now and it's now starting to be more effective and it's coming off slowly and I don't want to lose a drastic amount of weight but I want to get back to where I was last year so yeah I'm really focusing on that and that's going really really well. To have more family and friends times, well I definitely have done that, I've seen my aunt and grandmother lots, I've seen my mum and I actually went to visit my dad for his birthday in his hometown at the beginning of February and that was really great. We had a lovely time, it was really really fun and obviously tomorrow I'm going to visit my friends. So I've done quite a lot of socialising in February so that's been really great. I can tick that off my list because I think I said that I was only going to either see family members this month and see friends next month but I've been able to work it out in the fact in the sense that I've been able to see both and just kept it on a fairly low budget which has been really good and then continue and then to continue to, with hobbies and to have time for me I've definitely been having time for me I have an hour in the evening where I either have a bath or I watch a YouTube video or I do my nails or you know just some time just for me I have been taking that time when it comes to my hobbies, British Sign Language, learning to draw and calligraphy, I mean I write calligraphy in my prayer journal every day so I really practice practice my cursive handwriting. Um, learning to draw, I am making Easter cards. Um, in fact let me show you quickly. Oh. So here are my Easter cards that I've been making. So I looked at um, a video on YouTube on how to draw little bunnies so I've been making these sweet little Easter cards so I want to make a couple more today so I'm going to do that but yeah so but I haven't been doing that as often as I wanted to do it so I really want to try and get into that but I think I packed a lot in for myself each day especially when it when I'm working and I get home at like half past five and then I by the time I've had dinner realistically it's six o'clock uh half past six to half past six and then I do some other new things now to help me wind down ready for a good night's sleep. And sometimes I just don't have time to do British Sign Language or drawing. So I think I need to work that into my schedule when I'm not working, perhaps. I think that would work out better for me. Um, and yeah, and that is kind of the February goals. So I have ticked February off goals off somewhat, but... I could have done a lot better. I think I could have been better with money. I could have been better um, with tracking my meals to being more focused on my meal planning and things like that and uh, um, limiting temptation and things like that. But, you know, these things happen. This is life. But I've had a lovely February. It's been really good for the most part. And I've definitely learnt, um, it's definitely made me learn and it's made me realise what I want to do and achieve and that's given me goals for March to, to achieve and conquer and I think if I had achieved all of my February goals and ticked them all off then I'd be like okay well what do I want to do next, like what's my next goal, whereas because I'm still learning of like financial things and um, health and wellness then I, it gives me more goals to work towards or gives me something to go towards so yeah that was February's reflections and goals and now we're going to jump into March it's my March goals and then we're going to talk finance towards the end so if you need to get a top up get another drink I'm going to grab another drink as well and transfer this footage onto my laptop and or onto my computer and then I'll be back for part two 
Hello and we're back. Now I just wanted to say that I do apologise if you hear any background noise. George is just in the shower. Um, it took quite a while to transfer my footage over so I have since finished my coffee. Arthur is no longer on the sofa bed. He's got off now. Um, and yeah and once I've finished filming this I'm actually heading over to my aunt's for lunch. So I'm going to try and wrap this up fairly quickly because I want to go over there be over there for just after 11 if I can. It's also quite windy so I'm going to have a bit of a workout today. Yes, it's quite windy. Right, so we are moving on to March goals. Now I've separated these goals into personal and finance um, because I've seen a couple of other goal videos and that's what they did and I really liked that. So I've, I've separated um, for that this month, for the month of March. So I'm going to go through my uh, personal goals first and then my um, financial goals. I'm not going to show you my financial budget that I did in January because I think I'll do that at the end of the year and show you how much I've been able to save and if I've been able to tick those big savings goals off. Likewise, I'm not going to show you going through my money wallet because there's nothing really to update you in that. Um, aside from I've been able to save my cleaning money and just birthday money and things like that but there's nothing really big to say for that um at the moment so i'm just going to keep going when i get paid in march and um i've got a couple of extra financial savings goals that i've written down here for march so i'll be able to go through those with you as well so the first personal goal is to stick to my morning and wind down rituals. I have created morning and wind down rituals. This is the morning ones and this is the evening ones. If you'd like me to do a separate video going through both of these and what I do each morning and each evening to give me a calm, mainly as stress free as possible, restful, relaxed uh, day and night and help me with sleep please let me know in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up and I will film a separate video probably two separate videos like my morning rituals and my evening rituals as well but I want to stick to those that is my main goal for that they include meditation reading journaling skincare yoga eat food and obviously um, less screen time as well the next goal is to reach 72 kilograms in weight. Um, so as you all know, I'm, still, I'm on my little health kick journey or weight loss pro journey, whatever you want to call it. Health and wellness really. So um, yeah, I'm really happy with that, focused with it and looking forward to continuing on with that. The next one is opt for fresh food before process. So that kind of links with the weight loss, but keeping it more wellness, nourishing. Uh, for my breakfast, I had my lovely bagel, which was obviously full of protein and got some good carbs. And also I had half a grapefruit as well, a green juice, which I make every, I make a batch of that every week. It usually includes celery, apple, loads of ginger, uh, cucumber and spinach so yeah I make a juice of that each week and yeah that's what I'm going to continue to do with that. The next goal is to continue using my gua sha skincare tool. Now you'll be seeing a little video now of me using it. I've just started using this it's been about a week and I definitely feel um, that it's helping not only is it really relaxing and soothing but I do feel like it's kind of helping my face like I don't know shape contour I don't know it could be just placebo but I'm really enjoying it I just watch tutorials on YouTube and yeah I want to keep that up because it's something I really really enjoy and the final personal goal is to research and invest into my skin not just the skin on my face but also my hands my neck I am 33 this year and not that that means anything but I want to start I want to look after my skin more start using things that are going to nourish it and so I can grow old gracefully I've watched a video by oh my gosh what was her name um the youtuber who I followed who I've completely forgot what her name is now which is awful but I'll link her below because she did a great video about um skincare habits in her 30s so I really really enjoyed that so I've taken a lot on from that but 
not just skincare products or expensive products but just drinking more water and having better quality sleep, reducing stress if you can, eating well and then focusing on facial massaging, making sure I get my neck and also making sure I keep my hands well moisturised as well because your hands and your neck are where the first signs of ageing are and that is what I want to avoid. So yeah, but also keeping my skin nice and clear. I don't wear any foundation at all. I just put a bit of blusher on, a bit of a bit of blush, a bit of bronzer. But other than that, I have absolutely nothing on my skin at all. So yeah, that's why I want to keep up. And they are the personal goals for March and I'm really happy with them. I feel like they are achievable. I feel like I will get really nice results at the end of March and I feel like there is some challenges in there as well. So it all works coinciding together, which I'm really, really happy with. And now for the financial goals. So my financial goals, I want to be strict with myself. There are things I want to save up for. There are things I want to put my money towards and I want to do it. Starting now, start like February, I kind of went off the wagon with not saving, but like I had some impulse buying that I didn't need and it just, I want to like nip it in the bud. So the first goal is to not have any impulse buys in March. Do, do like a kind of a little, a no buy again in March so no impulse buying if I see a nice mug and I love it I will not buy it now if my grandmother buys it for me that's different because I can't say no to her like she she'll give me evils if I say no to her so um if there's something that she wants to get for me then I will gracefully accept and obviously thank her for that but for myself I will not be buying anything I do not need if I need it I will buy it if I've run out I will buy it but if I do not need it I will not buy it for the month of March and we'll see how we get on with that the second one is to save all my cleaning money for things that I want. I've made a little list on my Google Keep, um, which I don't know where my phone, oh my phone is here, on my Google Keep list. So I've made a little list of things that I want to save up for. Um, one of them is a big skincare item, which is quite expensive, but if we save, we'll get there. So the first one is a LED light therapy ma face mask on Amazon. I've read loads of reviews about it. I'm actually going to uh, experience a um, infrared light therapy sauna at the end of March. So I'm really looking forward to that. So yeah, so I want to save up for that, but that is very expensive. The next expensive product I've got on here is an Elemis Superfood Facial Oil. I love this stuff. It's so nice, but I've got like tiny bit left. I'm really trying to save it as much as I can, but um, I can't obviously justify spending it now, but if I save my money, I will be able to buy it. Neil's Yard Wild Rose Beauty Balm or the, ne or the Wild Rose range from Neil's Yard Remedies. Absolutely love the scent. It's so lovely. It feels so lovely on my skin. It's relaxing. It's calming. Um, I do have my birthday in May, so if I haven't got any if, I, if there's things on this list that I would like for my birthday I will perhaps pop it on my birthday wish list for people but other than that I'm this is what my list is for what I want to save for the final one which is quite a funny one which is an ice cube tray from Amazon and it makes like round ice cubes George thinks it's ridiculous but I want it so uh, I'm gonna save up and buy that and then I've got infrared sauna therapy session um, at the end of March and that's what I'm going to save. So I've made my little list on my phone. So that's really good. And I look at that all the time and that's what helps me go towards that. Then the third goal, financial goal, is to have paid off my mum and stepdad. George and I have been paying back. They lent us some money when we moved into our home and we are paying them back. And once we, when I get paid in March, I'll be paying them a final time and then we will have paid them off. They are one on my big uh, 2023 goals financial list and once the March payment has been made we will owe them no more money and that money will be able to go towards our new front doors. How exciting is that? So so great. The fourth goal 
is to put £100 towards my emergency fund. Now, I did have £30 left of my actual wages in my bank. I now have 10, which is ridiculous. It's I'm really disappointed in myself, but you just got to move on. And what I'm going to do, I think I'm getting a little bonus when I get paid. So I'm going to bite the bullet and I'm going to put uh, £100 towards my emergency fund because that is the most important thing for me in 2023 that I want to at least be over halfway. By the end of 2023, if I haven't reached £1,000, I want to at least be over halfway there. And that is what I'm going to do in March. And the fifth financial goal is to start a fun savings pot. So that, for example, is... A savings pot for mine and George's wedding anniversary in June. We want to go to London for the day and just have something there like if I want to go and see friends for the day I've got money there to be able to go get the train or if I want to go see family I've just got that money there that I can do that so that's the plan there and I'm really looking forward to it. I feel like it's really attainable, it's achievable and I just don't need to do any impulse buying and that is my biggest downfall and my biggest problem um, and I need to achieve get over that and become more adult and that everybody is my March goals for this month um, I'm really like I said I'm really really happy with these goals I feel like they're a challenge but they're achievable they are getting me back on track and they're getting me focused and I'm really really happy with them and that concludes the February reflections and March goals and reset. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave me any comments down below and if you are new to my channel and this is the first video that you're seeing, I would love it if you would subscribe, hit that notification bell because then you'll be always reminded of when I upload. As you will know, I'm not on social media so you do need to click the notification bell to be reminded of when I do upload and also I will leave in the description box the link to my blog which I upload every week on a Sunday just telling you how my week has been what I've been getting up to and sharing some pictures on there so I'd love it if you take a look at it and let me know what you all thought like I said I hope you enjoyed this video let me know down below if you have made any goals for March how's your February been and I will see you all at the end of March when we will be going through this goal list and seeing how I did and if I achieved them all have a great rest of your weekend and have a wonderful week and I'll see you all next weekend for a lovely adventure vlog. Bye!